Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Ta-da! If you haven't been here before, this is your opportunity to catch up on what's going on with weather across the Mid-South area and to keep an idea as to what's happening throughout the rest of the area. We're seeing, again, some fairly quiet conditions in the Mid-South. As of right now, we're going to be looking at some fairly hot conditions out there for later on today. Uh, that forecast temperature should be up here, and that forecast temperature should be down there so lower 90s for highs today with plenty of sunshine and mostly clear tonight with temperatures back in the lower 70s sometimes the display goes its own direction I'll have to get that taken care of plus if you have any questions about things right down here at the bottom of your screen email address austin.onic at wrag.com if you'd like to know more or if you'd like to suggest something that we can cover for you in the weather department we'd love to know more about what you would like to see on here so please let us know this information courtesy of the Center for Earthquake Research and Information and the United States Geological Survey information about earthquakes we're very concerned with the New Madrid fault up around the Missouri Booty and portions of northeastern Arkansas and we keep an eye on that to make certain everybody knows more about what's going on but these are great places to go to memphis.edu slash CERI and usgs.gov or earthquakes.usgs.gov if you'd like to know more about what's going on there plenty of sunshine around the Rhodes College campus this morning and a lot of clear skies out across the mid-south so very much on the quiet side there and not really seeing too much of any of their major problems or concerns out there that shouldn't be in there either. I apologize. We're having, again, some technical glitches taking place. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to the forecast, shall we, before we go over earthquakes one more time for the heck of it. We've got temperatures rising rapidly into the course of the next several hours. Numbers by about 10 o'clock this morning should be easily back into around the mid to upper 80s. So we are seeing some very warm conditions starting off into the Mid-South. So if you have any plans for outdoors, this is what we're going to be looking for early on during the morning and into the rest of the afternoon, not really seeing too much of anything the way of good news for outdoors. We have little, if anything, showing up in the possibility of showers or thunderstorms. We're seeing little, if anything, taking place outside of a 0% chance. Not much of anything going on. Temperatures, again, into the next several hours will be back into the mid to upper 80s to right about the lower 90s. So once again, if you're working or exercising outdoors, please use caution and common sense just to be on the safe side. Drink back that water. Your body sweats away. You need that. This is the type of way. If you've never been in weather like this before, it may not seem like much, but at this time of the year, we can get, again, the possibility of some very su uh, sultry conditions out across the Mid-South, and that will give us, again, some very dangerous conditions if you push yourself working or exercising too hard. Keep an eye on those working or exercising around with you. Watch for the signs of heat injuries. Know what to look for. Know when your body is telling you, that's it, I'm done, I need to rest. Don't push yourself. It's something that can kill you if you go too far in weather like this, so please keep that in mind. Something to think about out there. Let's go ahead and run the numbers and she show you what's going on into the rest of the day today. Temperatures will be back into the mid to upper 80s to the lower 90s easily by the time we head into around mid to late morning. So heading home from church or Sunday school, we may be looking at the possibility of numbers back around 90 very easily. Uh, the computer is throwing in a few areas of sprinkles back across northwest Tennessee, southwest Kentucky, and back to around the Tennessee River Valley every once in a while. It doesn't look like much. Most of the chances of rain will be well to the north and east of us, up around Indiana, the Wabash Valley, southern Illinois, and back around St. Louis. For us in the Mid-South, it's mainly going to be heat and humidity and plenty of that to go around, no question about that. So if you have any plans for outdoors, this is going to be what you're going to have to deal with in the way of hot conditions out there. And this is something that, again, you really need to pay attention to because temperatures like this will be very warm even into this evening if you have yard work you've been putting aside and you want to get that done that's great. I'm all for putting off yard work as much as possible, but if you're going to be doing any yard work today, try to avoid doing it when the sun is up. Wait until the sun goes down so at least there isn't that huge amount of sunlight shining directly on you that's going to heat you up even more. If you can get out there when it's a little bit less direct sunlight, yes, it's going to be a little darker as the sun goes down and sunset goes away, but at least you're not going to have the extremely hot temperatures to deal with. So by News Channel 3 at 10, finishing up maybe a little bit less 
less daylight out there. Temperatures back in the high 70s to the lower 80s. By daybreak tomorrow morning, about the time Todd Demers is on with the forecast, numbers for lows only in the lower to mid 70s at best, so very warm across much of the area. And then temperatures into around the rest of Monday, looking at numbers back in the lower 90s with, again, little if any chance of showers and thunderstorms out across much of the area. Here's what it looks like for severe weather today. We're just not seeing much of anything across the Mid-South. Chances of anything involving showers with thunderstorms will be well to our north up around the western Great Lakes. It sinks a little bit closer to the south tomorrow. On Monday, we see again that potential for a marginal threat, that green threat. It's not a great chance, but it is still a chance of severe weather from western Ohio through areas of Nebraska and South Dakota. And for Tuesday, pretty much kind of stays the same as we go into the rest of this next week. Most of the threat is going to be way on up to our north into the Great Plains, which is, again, pretty typical for this time of the year. So something to think about there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the seven-day forecast, the 10-day forecast. I'll have that for you coming up on day break in just a little bit. Pretty much the same thing all the way on through. This is about as typically July as you can possibly get for this area. Temperatures back in the lower 90s throughout the rest of what's left of the weekend and all throughout next week. Not much of any other change. The one thing you are going to notice at this point is that as of right now, we're just not seeing too much of anything showing up in the way of rainfall. Maybe a speckle of a shower, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but that is really going to be about all that we wind up with. As we go into next week, that's where we start to see again the potential of more showers and thunderstorms popping up. Not much, 20-25% chance somewhere in there, and that's going to be about the worst of the worst. But here's the thing, you are going to have to pay attention to this, especially if you have daycares, outdoor day camps, whatever's going on with kids, uh, make sure they're protected, uh, swimming lessons, anything like that. And when the lifeguards blow the whistle, they're not doing it to annoy you, they're trying to keep you alive. Remember, if lightning strikes, that's a lot of energy going through your body, and it can hit at just about any point in time from a thunderstorm. You can be 20 to 30 miles away from a parent thunderstorm and still get struck by lightning. So please keep that in mind for safety's sake if you're going to be doing anything outdoors into the next several days. That's going to be the main thing. Also, again, the possibility of seeing some very hot conditions out there. Temperatures will be very hot throughout the entire day, so definitely want to make certain you make certain to pace yourself. Keep an eye on those working or exercising around you. The whole thing applies and make certain you take that water along to make certain your body uh, is able to replace the water back that it sweats away. We are still live. Sorry about that right there. We're getting again some uh, delay crunch time on this at this point. So again, into the tropics we have Eugene, which is now a Category 2 hurricane down into around the Pacific and that is going to be moving up and into much colder waters. So this is not expected to be a threat to the United States or to Mexico or to Hawaii for that matter. What's left of Tropical Depression 4 wandering around the Atlantic? No other development expected in the next couple of days because, again, we've got very dry, dusty air coming off the Sahel in Africa, and that's doing a good job of keeping conditions quiet when it comes to anything involving hurricanes. Very hot in parts of Afghanistan, weather where the troops are, temperatures in the high 90s to the high triple digits at this time. Same thing for Iraq, temperatures well on up into the triple digits at this time, 120 in Najaf, 111 where the military operations continue in Mosul, 117 in Bosnia. And 119 degrees in Baghdad. Rest of the Persian Gulf into the triple digits and looking at very sunny skies around Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and Doha, and into around the area of the Korean Peninsula. We do have, again, temperatures a little bit more moderate going back into the upper 80s to the mid to upper 70s with mostly cloudy skies, everything south of the DMZ. Cuba also seeing temperatures back in the lower 80s with no rain and highs back in the lower 80s as well. Todd Demers will have more on your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, and I'll have more coming up with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live on AM 730, Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 a.m. And don't forget to join me on all my social media networks. Be glad to have you along for the Right. There's something we can do to make this more interesting for you. Whatever you want to see on here, weather climate-wise, send me an email again, austin.onic at wrag.com. Would love to have you along and love to have whatever ideas you have. But if you don't send them, I can't fix it. So my psychic power is not working all that well. So drop me an email and let me know more about what you would like to see. I got to get back out on set. We're about to have our last quarter hour daybreak weather segment. So join me for that and stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me today on our exclusive video weather blog weather overtime.